Our story begins in an online game titled Legendary Age, where a high school student named Nishimura is being proposed to by Akko, a member of his guild. He accepts her in-game marriage proposal, despite not believing that she's actually a girl in real life. Nishimura once confessed to a girl in the game, but she rejected him and revealed that she was actually a middle-aged man. Crushed by this, he vowed to never ever trust a girl online. However, after playing solo for a while and doing some soul-searching, he came to the conclusion that his real life and his in-game life are two completely separate things, and that what happens in the game, stays in the game. So it doesn't really matter to him anymore if a person in the game is a girl or not, as long as they're cute. And Nishimura actually enjoys spending time with Akko and the rest of his guild, even though Akko is a really bad healer, and he keeps dying because of her mistakes. But Akko loves Nishimura because of how patient he is with her. After clearing a dungeon, Akko asks Nishimura why he finally accepted her marriage proposal, despite rejecting her numerous times in the past, and he admits that he doesn't care if she's truly a girl or not, but she insists that she is indeed a real girl. The guildmaster says that he's also a girl in real life, but no one believes him. As such, the guildmaster decides that they'll do a meetup in real life, and I guess Japan has never heard of to catch a predator, so everyone agrees to meet. The next day, Nishimura is visibly nervous while he waits for everyone else to show up. Suddenly, he feels someone tugging on his shirt. When he turns around, he sees a beautiful girl, who reveals herself to be Akko. She embraces him and calls him Rushin, which is his in-game username. Nishimura is shocked that his online wife is actually a real girl, rather than a middle-aged man. The other guild members arrive shortly after. The guildmaster turns out to be a real girl too, named Kyo, and she's also the student council president. His other guildmate turns out to also be a girl, named Akane. She's also Nishimura's classmate, who's always making fun of him at school for being an otaku, even though she's secretly one as well. They then go to a cafe, where they formally introduce their real-life selves and share their common dislike for normies, with Akko clinging to Nishimura the entire time. Even though they're only married in the game, Akko seems to believe that Nishimura is her husband in real life too. Akane seems to be the most socially adept one in the group, which makes Akko go a bit crazy because she hates normies with a social life. But Akane reassures her that she doesn't really have that much of a social life, and that she doesn't even want a boyfriend, because then she wouldn't have as much time to play games. At the end of their get-together, Nishimura apologizes to his guildmates for assuming that they were all guys. They forgive him, and they all look forward to seeing each other at school. But Akane and Nishimura agree to keep their real life separate from their game life, and to continue to act like strangers at school. Akane doesn't want people to know that she's an otaku, otherwise her social life and reputation would be completely ruined. That night, when Nishimura logs on to play Legendary Age, he begins to picture his guildmates as their real-life girl counterparts. The next day at school, Akko visits Nishimura in class and casually calls him by his online username, Rushian, and proudly declares that she is his wife, which greatly confuses the other students. Embarrassed, Akane and Nishimura drag Akko out of the classroom. They try several ways to explain that their school life and in-game life are supposed to be separate, but Akko simply doesn't understand and perceives this as them not wanting to be her friend. They realize that Akko just can't tell real life apart from her in-game life. Later that day, Kyo organizes an online gaming club and recruits Nishimura, Akane, and Akko. Akane initially refuses to join because she doesn't want her reputation to be affected, but she changes her mind after being tempted by the powerful gaming rigs that Kyo has provided club members. The club's purpose is to help Akko come to terms with reality and help her understand that her real life and her in-game life are completely different. They hope that by playing together in the same room as Akko, she'll learn to separate both worlds. Later that day, Nishimura surprisingly runs into Nekohime in the game, the middle-aged man who had rejected him previously. Nekohime is glad to see that Nishimura is still playing the game even after she rejected him, and he tells her that it was actually a positive experience for him. The next day after school, the club meets up to play Legendary Age together. Nishimura takes a look at Akko's gear and realizes that she's equipped bad gear with bad stats, just because it looks cuter on her character. They force her to equip a flame-resistant robe, which upsets her because she doesn't think it looks cute. To make matters worse, Akko is not used to the settings on this computer, so she doesn't even know what buttons to push to cast heals. Nishimura is forced to play both his character and hers, so that their entire guild doesn't get wiped out. If Akko played League of Legends, she would surely be a Yumi main. 
At the end of their gaming session, Nishimura is understandably exhausted. Tio then informs them that the club might be shut down if they can't find a faculty advisor to oversee their club activities. That night, Nishimura logs onto Legendary Age and consults Nekohime for advice. Akko stalks him in-game and is jealous to find him talking to Nekohime. The next day, Ms. Yui reveals that Akko has stopped coming to school again. The guild later confronts Akko in game, and she tells them that she was busy preparing for an offline meeting with an unknown stranger from Legendary Age. The club obviously opposes this, but Akko logs out of the game before they can convince her otherwise. Akane and Kyo find out the location and time of the meetup, and confront Nishimura to get him to stop Akko. He admits that spending time with the real Akko has made him develop feelings for her outside of the game, and he doesn't want to lose her to a random stranger. He runs to the meetup place and arrives in time to confront Akko, but it seems the stranger has not shown up yet. Suddenly, their teacher Ms. Yui appears. She's shocked to hear Akko call Nishimura by his in-game username, Rushian. That's when Nishimura realizes that Ms. Yui is actually Nekohime, the supposedly middle-aged man that had rejected him. Akko had planned to meet up with Nekohime so that she could confront her in person and tell her to stay away from her husband. She attacks Ms. Yui, who instinctively clotheslines her in response. Kyo then recruits Ms. Yui to be the club's new advisor, and Ms. Yui can't really oppose after dropping a student to the ground. Some time passes, and Akko becomes distressed when rumors about her and Nishimura's relationship begin to surface. Akko had done everything she could to create an antisocial barrier around herself, but her classmates are now breaking through that barrier and gossiping with her about her relationship with Nishimura, which is very overwhelming for an introvert like her. As Akko seeks advice from her friends about this situation, Akane's friend, Nanako, walks inside the club room. Akane becomes distressed as well when Nanako questions her about the club and why she's there. Akane tries covering up for herself and is left in despair after shoving her friend out of the club room. Later that night, Nishimura and Akko run into a new player named Sede. Nishimura helps her learn the basics of the game, which triggers Akko's jealousy. The next day, the guild is preparing for another quest when Sede finds Nishimura again. He explains to the guild that Sede is a new player, so Akane offers to help her improve, but Sede playfully declines, claiming that she only wants to be tutored by Rushian. This of course makes Akko even more jealous. The next day at school, Akko suggests that the club should play a different game, because she doesn't want them running into Sede again. Kyo searches for a new game to play and stumbles upon an FPS game called Ultra Force. The club agrees to play and are surprised that Akko is amazing at the game. She pictures her enemies as normies and uses her hatred of normies to snipe targets with exceptional skill. After an all-night Ultra Force gaming session, a sleep-deprived Nishimura finds Akko exhibiting behavior similar to the game. She talks using military slang and talks about sniping enemy normies at school. Nanako comes up to Nishimura and questions him on why he was offline in Legendary Age yesterday. Nishimura and the others soon realize that Nanako is actually Sede. A day's Akane rocks back and forth, mumbling to herself about how her high school life is over. Meanwhile, Nanako teases Akko by clinging to Nishimura, which causes a frustrated Akko to storm off. Nanako later apologizes to Nishimura and clarifies that she's not romantically interested in him at all. After no signs of communication with Akko in the real world, Nishimura decides to talk to her in the game. She reveals her plans to quit school and focus entirely on playing Legendary Age, so she can max out her level and reincarnate as a different character. She's so devoted to her new goal that she even blocks the in-game chat, forcing Nishimura to bring back Akko on his own. He skips school and goes to Akko's house the next day and meets her mother, who surprisingly already knows all about how Nishimura is Rushian, Akko's online husband. She gives him her blessing and hands him the key to Akko's bedroom. He knocks on her door and warns Akko that he's coming in with or without her permission. She panics and tells him she's not ready yet, but Nishimura opens the door regardless, only to find Akko in her underwear in the middle of changing. He nervously slams the door back shut to give Akko some privacy to get dressed. Akko admits that she prefers to game in her underwear because it's more comfortable. When she's ready, she lets Nishimura know that he can enter the room. But when he opens the door, he finds Akko completely naked. She asks him to please be gentle with her before he slams the door shut once more. After clearing up the misunderstandings, Akko and Nishimura spend all day playing the game together and maxing out her character. He even stays at her house overnight and they continue to play until morning. Understanding how she truly feels and empathizing with her struggles to grasp and accept reality, Nishimura convinces Akko to go back to school and promises that if she ever becomes so overwhelmed that she wants to skip school again, he'll come back to her house so they can play all day together.
Some time passes, and Nishimura realizes that he doesn't just want to be married to Akko in the game. He wants to have a normal boyfriend-girlfriend relationship with her outside of the game too, but he can't seem to get his real-life feelings across to Akko. Nishimura has an honest conversation with Akane and Kyo about how to confess to Akko in the real world, but neither of them have any real love experience to offer advice. Nevertheless, they still help Nishimura think of ways to confess. The next day after school, Nishimura and Akko have an afternoon stroll together and stop at the park. Nishimura bravely confesses his feelings to Akko and asks her to be his girlfriend, but she abruptly rejects him. After Kyo and Akane do a comical dance to cheer up an unconsolable Nishimura, Akane calls up Akko and confronts her about the rejection, and Akko explains that going from wife to girlfriend is a demotion, so why would she agree to that? Nishimura is relieved that Akko still likes him, but he's still unsure how to get Akko to accept the real him, rather than his online persona. During their summer vacation, the club decides to hang out together at Kyo's villa. They hope to use this opportunity to help Akko disconnect from the online world, and help her connect with Nishimura in the real world. After enjoying Kyo's private beach for a couple hours, the gang already wants to go back inside and play games. Mizui gets angry that the group isn't using the most of their youth, and orders them to keep touching grass for the rest of the day. At night, Kyo sets up a special line of fireworks to set the mood for Nishimura's confession to Akko. Nishimura then pronounces his love to Akko on the villa steps. She says that she loves him too and that she's so happy to be his wife. Nishimura is discouraged that Akko still sees their relationship as husband and wife. To no avail, Kyo sees the vacation as a failure and thus sets up another vacation at a luxurious hotel that is collaborating with Legendary Age to host a promotional event. The group spends most of the day going on quests within the hotel that give the players exclusive items when they purchase stuff from different areas in the hotel. Around midday, Nishimura returns to his hotel room and starts playing Legendary Age with Akko, where she then invites Nishimura to her room within the game. As Nishimura randomly logs out and logs back in, Akko suggests that they should engage in naughty chat, yet something doesn't seem right about the newly logged in Rushian. Nishimura suddenly becomes logged out of his Legendary Age account, and after failing to log back in multiple times, he realizes that a hacker has taken over his account and is now chatting with Akko. He rushes to her hotel room and warns Akko of the imposter posing as him on his account, but it seems Akko was able to realize that she was talking to an imposter and not the real Rushian. Nishimura takes a look at their couple's chat box, in which the hacked Rushian made very sexually aggressive advances to Akko. She apologizes to Nishimura for briefly mistaking the hacked Rushian for the real one. But Nishimura reassures her that she's the victim here, and that it was his mistake that led to this situation. Kyo and the others drop by to assess the damage done to Nishimura's account. Despite regaining access to his account, his character Rushian has been deleted. And while Akko grieves over his disappearance, the group resolves to do what they can, to at the very least help regain Nishimura's items. While Nekohime drums up help from her own guildmates, Kyo and Nishimura come across a merchant under the name Rontan, selling some of Rushian's items at ridiculously high prices. They give Rotten's information to the admins, but since Rotten's IP address doesn't match the one who hacked Nishimura, they can't prove that Rotten is the one who hacked him. Meanwhile, members of Nekohime's guild manage to recover Rushian's wedding ring, much to Akko's delight. Later on, Nishimura and his guildmates receive a URL of a hacking blog, ran and operated by an experienced hacker and scammer, who recently bragged about Nishimura's account hack. Nishimura comes up with a plan to catch the hacker, and everyone but Akko works tirelessly for the next three days to set his plan in motion. Akko goes to Nishimura's house to check up on him, and hands him a delicious bento that she had cooked herself. As they talk, Akko realizes that the deletion of Nishimura's account has also annulled their marriage within the game, much to her shock. The next day, Nishimura's plan is revealed. They had made a fake hacking blog and lured the hacker onto that site, where they could get a copy of his real IP address and sent it to the admins. The admins banned the hacker and his many alternate accounts and then restored Nishimura's Rushian character. Personally, admins being helpful in an online game seems rather unbelievable to me, but anyways. Once back on his account, Nishimura and Akko get married in-game once more, with all their online friends present, including their guild and Nekohime. Thanks so much for watching. This has been Recap Sensei, and I hope to see you all again in the next video.